lifted up. Take your right foot. And we're symbolizing the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. So the enemy shall bruise your heels. Let me just step on that. Come on. Come on. So I want you to take that right foot. And I want you just to slam it down to the floor and just do like this. Come on, just turn it on his head. Come on. He's in fear. Shit. 
for the objects that is their momentum. Okay? If you take the weight and multiply it by how fast it moves, then you get a calculation or an answer that is the momentum. Somebody say momentum. Momentum. Momentum is the force of speed. It is the force of movement. Come on. It is, the, it is how fast with what velocity things move with. Hallelujah. When someone says it looks like they're gaining momentum in their lives, it means they can actually see how you've grown. Uh -huh. They can actually chart your growth. They can actually look at a place that you were and see where you've come to from that point. And so, when you look at somebody and say they gained momentum, we can say uh, two years ago, they were broke. Two years ago, they were homeless. They didn't have a car. They were addicted. They couldn't find their way out of a paper bag. Come on. Every time you came around them, they had hell and all kind of damnation breaking out. They had all kind of things happening just two years ago. Then on the next year, which would be last year, they got a job and they got enrolled in school. They
Jeremiah 1 and 12, it says, Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast seen well, for I will hasten, I'm going to watch over, I'm going to hasten my word to perform it. Come on, he takes his word and he watches it in time and he releases it to come to pass when he wants to. And many of you in the house today are waiting on some stuff and you believe in God and you've almost given up. But what you need to understand is God's timing. Somebody say God's timing. I got to understand God's timing. I got to be content when I don't have a job and when I can't pay my bills. I got to learn how in order to wait on God because when he comes, he's going to come in such a great way that it's going to blow everybody's mind around me. No. 
know that something is happening. You know that something is growing. You know that there is a momentum that we have gained. If you got hell and demons that's trying to attach themselves to your life and to your ministry, to everything you try to do, every time you try to do good, every time you try to do right, you try to stop sleeping with sister so and so. to 
and crumbles the wall of the enemy. Yes, God. Somebody say yes, God. Yes, God. Ah, uh, God, I feel deliverance about to break out. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. When they shouted, the very thing that kept them from getting to their promise fell down. It said it fell flat. Now, if a wall falls flat, we got a wall, and it falls flat, it means it goes like this. Some of the stuff that you guys have been battling against, I come to pronounce over your life that it's about to fall flat. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. And it says that when they got ready to enter Jericho, that the people ascended. That means they went up. The very walls that had had them barricaded now allowed them to step onto it right. and to sleep. Yeah. I'm going to stand on the very barrier that's kept me from reaching when I needed to reach in God. Thank you, Jesus. The very bondage that was over my life, the very struggles that had me crying at night are going to become my stepping stone. Is that I'll make the enemy your footstool, a place for you to rest your feet. Those demons that you've been battling since you were two years old are about to come down and you're about to send them. Yes. Higher! Oh, yes. yes, Jesus. It said they are sin. As soon as we get these walls to come down, we can go up. I preached on, was it March 31st? What was Easter? Whatever Easter was. The power of ascension. And we danced and praised and fell out and rolled around. People joined the church and went crazy like never before. Well, that same power is still on you right now. Amen. Amen. The same power she reached out until she ended up over there. We thought she was dead. She laid on the floor. <laughs> the same power. That move through the streets. Yes, that push you to understand God. that you were going to ascend up is going to flatten your enemies. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. When I say your enemies, I'm not necessarily. It may include people, it may not. Hmm. I'm talking about that stuff in your life that keeps you bound. Higher! Thank you, Jesus. Those things that keep drawing you back. Those things that keep you from ascending higher. God said that the wall of Jericho yeah. is coming down in this house yeah. because you have prophetic momentum on your life. Oh, you. God has spoken the word. Yes, Jesus. And it's got to come to pass. Everybody said it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Something soft, guys. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to make sure I move in a way that the Holy Ghost is leading us right now. Because I don't want us to miss this. We've been in a, a place of missing today. We missed a lot of stuff today. Because we're tired. We didn't really come for this. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody got on our nerves. We're going to be able to take advantage of that. I don't know. The people that should be here and are here, I don't know. But what I do know is for this moment right now, we're going to take this moment and allow God to do what he needs to do for us. Amen. We're going to prophesy. We're going to see and say until we see the walls come down over our lives. We're going to release a sound that causes the walls of Jericho to be destroyed forever. Come on. I ain't talking about doing no exercise just for the, the fun of it. Because we can, we can go outside and play Ring Around the Rosie. It's kind of fun if you got the right condition. But we're doing spiritual warfare right now. For our church, for your life, for your family, for what you need God to do for you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, can we just worship for Jesus?
Yeah.